Welcome to the final wager. I'm a little scared because I promised Julia that if she won today, she could pick the color for next week's slides. So, Julia, I will await your hex code if you want to send that to me. Unfortunately, only two players in this Friday installment, Brandon, who seemed like a, a pretty cool guy, finished with a negative 1,000 score. Just Julia and Steven, and Julia's got a $20,000 lead. I've already done the math. She can wager up to 9,600. A couple things I want to touch on. First of all, uh, one of the category names was one of the most absurd things I've seen on Jeopardy, which means it's one hilarious and two a little uh, questionable on a family program. Mom, I'll explain off camera. And two, I want to just talk about Steven's approach to buzzing. Every time that he got beaten out by Julia, you could see him go, Ugh, and he would get all flustered. When you're playing the game, you want to remain focused on what you have in your control. If you can't beat Julia on the buzzer, try again next time. Don't keep getting in your head that she's better than you and that this is the most frustrating thing in the world. Just remain cool and just wait for the next one. Nerves of Steel, they really help, but I know it's tough under the lights, so I, I can't criticize too much. Okay, we'll see you on Monday for a special Memorial Day edition of The Final Wager. Perhaps I should have kept this shirt for then. Have a good weekend.